Okay, so what we're going to look at is My Math Lab. Um, you would have already created an account if you don't have one yet. And so once you sign in, this is what our um, home page looks like. So you can see that right now it's set for two weeks. So you can see what the assignments are that are coming up. Now it doesn't show an assignment until I make it available. And I don't make the assignments available until um, Monday of the week. And they are due mostly on Sundays the following that Monday. So if I want to look a little bit ahead, I can switch the view of my assignment due dates to monthly. And so once you look at the month, Again, right now you can see that this little comment part, it says, welcome to my math lab. Um, to get started, run the browser check. So you wanna make sure that you do that to make sure that your computer is ready for the way the problems are presented to you for your, for your homework. Um, now, if I go back again to the month, you can see that there's a little dot here and that's normally what it's gonna look like when you have a due date coming up. So again, I have an assignment that will open up for you guys on the 17th, which is probably when you're gonna be watching this. So there might be some something here, another comment. But um, the little closed circle looking thing, that's gonna show you a due date. So you can see if I click on that, Right now it says homework number one, which is your orientation to my math lab, is due at 11.59 on that day. Um, and it says there are zero of eight questions, so there are eight questions for you to work on. And again, that's just an orientation. It shouldn't take you too much time. Um, now homework number two will um, be the other one that's also available and will be due on this date. So when you're looking at this, you should probably see another homework that is um, due. You can see completed assignments down below. Um, but to do your homework, you just get to click on the homework assignment. And then you can see the questions right there and you can click on them. Question number one, if I click on it. Then we're gonna see this pop up here. And so you can read the directions and follow along. Sometimes there'll be multiple parts. So you can see on the bottom left here, that there's multiple parts. If you want this to be bigger on your screen, you can maximize it so we can see that. Um, and again, sometimes there are steps that don't require you to enter an answer. So again, if you read through this, there's nothing for you to enter. So then you would just go to the bottom and you could say um, continue. And you can see now that there's still four parts remaining. Again, it'll have some directions. So you can again read through all these words here. And then it says like, did you notice at the bottom left of the window, there's a status line that provides directions for the current step. Right now it says uh, press continue to see more at the right end of the status line. There is a question mark. So you can see that that's actually down on the bottom right. It opens up a student help menu that you can reference for more information. Now, one other thing that you're gonna see within your homework is actually the question help at the top right section and this will have these options for you to help you with any of the homework that you're going through. So there's a help me solve this, which walks you step by step on trying to solve something. There's a view an example, sometimes there's an animation, there's access to a calculator. Now remember we are working on elementary math and so your job is to be able to do a majority of the math without a calculator and so the calculator is like more of a backup to check your work. You can also print out the homework assignments so if you happen to have like spotty internet you can print this out, work on it, and then come back and enter your answers. That's totally acceptable. So um, you can kind of continue on, you hit continue. I believe if you hit the next button, that will take you actually to question two. So I didn't finish question one, so I might wanna make sure that I go back and you can see question one has zero out of one because I haven't completed that yet. So the way that your homework grade works is you wanna complete all of these by the due date. I will um, keep them open after where you can receive partial credit, but again, that's only 50% of the original credit. So you wanna make sure that you do work on these and stay caught up with the homework, but that 50% um, that is just in case you fall behind by one, hopefully only one if life happens. Um, but you have a whole week to work on these assignments. So you wanna make sure you work on them early, start early, um, that way you can have a chance to ask me questions throughout the week. So now I am going to um, X out of this window or minimize that. And so you can see I'm back on um, the main section because it just was a pop out window. Um, now, if I go back to just assignments overall, that's another way besides the calendar to see a list of your assignments. And again, it only shows them once they are opened up for you. So it would be the start of um, the week that you would see more things here. I open this one up just so we can actually see an assignment visible. 
but homework number two, again, should be visible to you as of August 17th. Um, now, my math lab also has all of the ebook on here. So if you want to click on eText contents, you can see all of the chapters for our ebook. E and what's really nice about that is there are little videos and other things that um, are embedded in here to help you out. Each assignment that I give you does have a short PowerPoint video that you can watch. Um, I think just by viewing it, you get the credit on the assignment, but you might want to be checking those out along with the little lectures that are presented for you in each lesson on Canvas every week. So if I click on um, just chapter one, that's where we're beginning. You can see it's called an intro introduction to problem solving. Um, there's a link to do the homework. Now, um, when you click on that, it should take you to any homework that's related to this chapter. You can view the chapter opener and the chapter review, or you can go into each section. So section 1.1, here again, you can see there's a video presentation you can click on. There's the actual textbook, and then there's a study plan embedded in it. I'm not requiring this of you at all, but you can kind of click around and play with that, and they have practice tests and things like that. But if I click on the e-text, you have access to the full book. If you've not purchased the hard book, um, the e-text is the same exact thing, um, but it's actually might be preferred because you're able to um, click directly on video links and things like that as you're going through this. So we're waiting for it to load. You can see at the top of the page, it has the real page number of the book. So it's starting us on page four because that's where section one one happens. So again, you can um, read, you should be reading through this every week. You can see the objectives. It's just like a traditional textbook. But again, because it's the ebook, you can click on things. So if you want to see like an actual video of some kids maybe problem solving, if you click on this, you'll be able to see that. And again, you just kind of keep scrolling down to read the page. You can flip over to the next page. Um, if you want bigger font, you can oops, not search there. Is there. There was a magnifying glass, maybe not. Oh, here we go. You could change the display settings so you can make it get bigger if you need to. And again, um, a lot of your textbook has school book pages, so you can see what an elementary um, math textbook looks like. We can skip around to more pages. And again, there's more links to the different videos. So you can see all of that and the examples. And a lot of the examples that I work through in our little lectures are directly from the book or from the um, problems at the end of each section. So um, I can exit the e-text. If you wanna go to a specific page, you can click on that. Um, the little three bars on the top left, those take you directly to any chapter that you want. Again, that's just another way of kind of orientating yourself through the e-book. And so those are the main things that we're going to use. I'm gonna go back to the main menu on my math lab. So we saw how to access homework through the calendar and also the assignment page. Um, and then you have the ebook, which is the e-text, and then the student gradebook. So if you wanna see how you're doing with the My Math Lab homework, that's all that's in this gradebook is the My Math Lab homework, which there are gonna be a total of 14 sections. You see my homepage looks a little bit different than yours because I'm the instructor, but you can see that these um, homeworks are um, sitting there getting ready to be assigned to you. And you can see some due dates, which again, due dates are normally on Sunday of the following week. That they are assigned. And so the student gradebook just has your My Math Lab grade. You'll need to check out Canvas for your current course grade. And that's it. If you have any more questions, please see me in my office hours.